So start off by telling us about your professional journey and how you got to where you are today. I started out doing stand-up many years ago. Uh, God, almost 30 years ago, I started doing stand-up. Started working in small clubs, doing uh, open mic nights for zero money. And uh, what I did when I first started is I'd go up as much as I could. And over time, if you perform enough, you'll get to open up in a club. And that's what happened. I opened up, and then you kind of move up the ranks of doing stand-up. And I did stand-up for about seven years, uh, lived in L.A. for a while, and kind of got a little uh, burned out on both Los Angeles and doing stand-up, moved back to Texas where I'd been, where I started doing stand-up. And that's where I uh, met my current business partners, uh, Frank Ford and David Wilk. And they were in a transitional period where they were leaving a show, and they said, hey, we got to do an improv show. And I go, I, I don't want to do an improv show. That sounds like a terrible idea, <laughs> which was really so anti-improv to start out with. And they convinced me to start hosting this show. Uh, I didn't want to do it. In fact, I said, I don't want to do it. And David Wilk, who can talk anybody into anything, convinced me. He said, well, if you don't want to do the show, just be in our headshot so it looks like we have a full group picture. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll be in the headshot. And so I literally got in the headshot. And the very first show is February 28th, 1997. And I said to Dave, I go, hey, when are you open up your show? And he goes, February 28th. And I said, hey, I, I th I'm thinking about coming out and seeing it. And he goes, well, you ought to. You're in it. And I go, I'm in it. He goes, well, you're in the picture. You got to be in it. He goes, just come out and host the show. And literally now, 21 years later, still doing this show. So be careful what headshot you get into. <laughs> it could be a career decision. 